Well, it's a day after processing day. We processed uh, about 15 turkeys yesterday and one rooster. Rocky was a little bit on the mean side and he attacked Amy and me both. Actually drew blood on me. Yeah, bruised me up and then tried to attack Braden through the fence. Yeah, so he went to freezer camp. Yeah, he had to go. We moved the rest of the turkeys, the one that we're not butchering and going to keep to breed or maybe to butcher later here in the uh, duck yard since it's nice and dry now. There's Mrs. Turkey. Where'd Mr. Turkey? Oh, there's Mr. Turkey right there. The Fantastic Four is over there, and then Blondie's right there by the feeder. Yeah. I need the turkey. So we got done butchering late enough yesterday. We got kind of got a late start. Uh, so we got to clean up this morning. Well, it's clean. We just got to put it up. Yeah, we got to put it, it dries, up. Once it we got to wait for it, the sun to come out and dry it, dry it a little bit. With all those turkeys going, it is a lot quieter yeah. on the uh, homestead today. I'm going to come over here and take care of the pig. You got one in the house? Yeah, one in the house. We're going to check out here. All right. Spray down the pig pen. Oh, we can hang it back up. Yeah. How's the duckies? Well, you gotta back up. Get your nose out of there if you want me to feed you. Well, I took care of the pools yesterday. Oh, they weren't, they don't need scrubbing? No, they were. Okay. Were, the pools look pretty decent. All right, then let's get that cage back where it belongs and let's use the wheelbarrow. Let's carry the feeders from the empty pens so we can dump them into here then. All right. And then I'm going to grab the waterers. I'm going to hang one of the, one of the extra waterers out here for the uh, turkey. So that way they're not drinking the duck's not. <laughs> the duck's not. The duck's not. <laughs> oh. Well, Wilbur is going to a new home. My Uncle Wayne fell in love with Wilbur and didn't want us to uh, make him barbecue. <laughs> Because he has his brother, Uncle Wayne has his brother, and uh, he's got a heart, a soft spot in his heart for Wilbur. So we found Wilbur a new home where he is going to be a pet and not food. I know, um, you're upset with us. Yeah, Wilbur's a little upset with us right now. He does not like his cage. Wilbur! So we're going to get him loaded up in the car, and we're going to bring him to his new forever home. To where he'll hopefully be happy and gets all kinds of attention. Yeah, lots of kids. Yeah, she, <laughs> the lady we're bringing him to has lots of grandkids. Yeah. All of the ibises. Come on, guys. Well, here's Wilbur. He's got a nice big pen here where he's at now. I don't think he likes the tractor. What's the matter, Wilbur? You don't, that tractor too loud for you? 
He's already rooting up the yard that he's going to be in. Yeah, this is all Hey, Will, I'll make a deal with you. If you root this up good, I'll put you a runner around the yard. I'll just move you from runner to runner, and I won't have to mow no more. I don't recall you mowing anyway. Because we were getting... We didn't find he uses a push mower. He uses a push mower and a weed eater. It's, it's either me or Timmy that's normally doing it. Now? Because I use a push mower and a weed eater. My son, oh. Chris. He sounds harsh, but he's not. It's yeah, he's... <laughs> I don't know. The four Rockies girls are are staying together. Which oh, is that's fun. good. I was hoping that the black ones, the, the black ones, would teach the two white ones. And I got a hen laying in here. They'll intermix. Yeah. Um, but I did have. I got the rings. And the nesting box that we bought in there. Okay. So we can put that up late. That'll be later today. We don't have to do it right now. Yeah. We just got to get these other pens kind of cleaned up, straightened right. up. Right. So. The turkey grow out pen is now empty. Yeah. Well, we don't leave the food and water in there. No. And then we got some empty pens over here. Rocky's old pen. Mr. and Mrs. Turkey's pen and Wilbur's pen. Wilbur went to his new home to be a pet because me and Amy were going to butcher him, but my uncle kind of fell in love with him and begged us to uh, rehome him to somebody that would be a uh, more of a pet than a farm animal. My uncle has Wilbur's brother, which is house trained, lives inside the, the life of luxury. <laughs> they pig. call him baby. That pig is so spoiled. He actually crawls on their lap, is completely house trained. And uh, since I think they have, I think he has them house trained. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, my uncle has a real soft spot for animals, which happens when you kind of get older. But, uh, you know, he's... Not a word. <laughs> but Wilbur's got lots of kids to play with now. So Wilbur's going to be, and he's got a bigger yard to run around in. Uh, the lady we gave him to, his grandkids live with her, and they were feeding, feeding him animal crackers. So he's going to, he's going to do a good, he's going to um, have a good life. Did you hear that, Barbara? Wilbur is going, is going to be a pet now. Getting Clyde out to clean his house. Yeah, we're just gonna do it one at a time because come on, Clyde. I know. Come on. I know. You it's not you breeding want... time yet, Clyde. Come on, Clyde. She ain't quite old enough. She will be March. Yeah. Clyde's a lover, ain't he? Yes, he is. He's a lover boy. Bunny! <laughs> Bonnie, are you being silly? You think we should just let her out too at the same time? They're, I mean, we've got to clean their water, so it's not like... Might as out. well. They're not going to be out long.
What are you doing to your chair, Bonnie? You gonna knock it over, girl? There you go. What the heck is that? I don't know. I need you to spray it off. It's all over this. I don't know what it is. It wasn't like that last night. Really? Sorry, baby. Really? You wanted a little mist to cool you off, right? If looks could kill. That's all you, you can walk past him. Um, he's been doing that. <laughs> Just do it fast. Why'd you go distract Clyde? Like, hold his, like, put your foot on his leash so he can't come near Barney to Really? Really, Clyde? Come here, baby. Uh, yeah, buddy. All right. He likes the headbutt. Urgh, fist bump. Fist bump. Fist bump, Clyde. Take it, take care of it. All right, guys. We butchered 15 turkeys and one rooster. Um, we did that yesterday. And we wanted to show you a little bit of the aftermath. We ended up with 35 pounds of ground turkey. Plus 30, 30 yeah. uh, turkey legs. Yeah, 30 turkey legs and 30 turkey wings. And the one rooster we had to butcher, um, we left that, we cut it in half so that way we can use it for barbecue. But all in all, not bad for our homestead. That's going to save us some money. All right. 35 one pound bags of ground turkey all going into the freezer all right we're doing the uh, second pig this is the smaller pig and it weighed in at 201.5 pounds so the other pig, we were probably off. We didn't have the scale before. So the other pig was probably about 250 pounds. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell and subscribe. And if you wanna see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.